Hello and today's video is going to be on installing the AWX operator on Ubuntu 20 using Minikube. So I've had a few requests about this demo and it seems like a lot of people are having issues setting up new versions of AWX so anything after version 17. So for version 17 you can simply install AWX on the server with enough resources and now the preferred way to install AWX is via the AWX operator so you need a Kubernetes cluster, OpenShift or for this demo I'm going to use Minikube. So I'm using Minikube because it's a single node cluster and it keeps the price down. And I did try this in a T2 medium, but there just weren't enough resources to get it working. So I've opted for a T3A X large server in AWS. So we're going to cover installing and setting up kubectl and docker. We're going to install Minikube. There's my AMI ID. Um, you might be able to get away with less resources, but for this demo, that's what I'm using. So you can try that as you like. We're going to set up the AWX operator. We're going to get the AWX admin password. We're going to forward the port. Um, so that we can and, and also use a minikube tunnel so that we can access it by the internet we're going to log into AWX and all the commands are going to be in the description below okay so let's crack on so documentation so here is the AWX page make sure you just familiarize yourself we're pretty much going to do what's on here um, with a few differences but it will at the end of it you'll get a working AWX um, login and you better do whatever you want to do so the first thing is to set up the repos. So this is the repos for Kubernetes and also for kubectl. And it's a real-time demo so feel free to forward on but we're just going to basically wait for everything to run through and I'm cutting and pasting commands in to save my typing fingers. So yeah just literally follow these commands, make it executable, then move it to the local bin so we can run it as any user because it's in my path. And there we go so we can see it's the latest version. Next up is we're going to install Minikube. So we need to again get the repo and then make sure it's executable and then move it to use local bin. Yeah, so now that we've installed Docker previously, actually in the previous section, we're going to need to add our user to the docker user so that we don't get some permission issues okay so let that run so like I say feel free to whiz through any of the bits that you don't want to see it's just kind of real time so you could almost pretty much if you had a server you could run these commands at the same time okay so let's do the minikube bit Let me just cut and paste the right bit. That's better. Okay, I'm just going to add my user to Docker, the Docker group, and then I'm just going to log off and log in again because that's quickest. Back off and in again. Okay, let's just show that we're now a member of the Docker group. There it is. So now this is a bit where we start. So Minikube starts. This is a bit maybe people have had problems with. Um, just use my options and then I'm going to change the memory to 6 gig so like I say you could probably do this on a smaller server but just for the benefit of this demo I'm just getting it done on a server I know it works on without too many issues so this is going to take a moment get yourself a cup of tea like I say you know real time demos are annoying but you, you see everything So while I was going through the docs, it wasn't necessarily that there's a lot. There's lots of assumed knowledge, I think, in the documentation. They assume that people know what they're doing. They already have an up and running Kubernetes cluster. It's it's not that tricky, but if you don't have that experience, um, it can be daunting to know where you've got to go and what you've got to do. So hopefully this demo will just make that a bit easier for you, um, give you everything that you need to get up and running, and then from there you can choose how you take that forward yourself in your own environments or, or, or in your lab. Yeah, and if you do, um, if it does work for you, if you do use it, if you enjoy it, then you know, subscribe, like it, let me know. If, if there's a different video you want me to do, then just give us a shout. You know, I, I got asked on Friday about this, 
and then when I started looking into it it took me a little while to work out what it was I needed to do and all getting all the bits in place and a lot of problems and errors along the way so I can I know where the pain you guys have felt doing this um, but now I've got a succinct set of commands just literally follow it through from one from the start to the end and you will get a working AWX um, login and, and you'll be able to use it okay so we're getting near the end now also the benefits of using a bigger server is things run quicker when I was doing this on the T2 medium that I unfortunately wasn't successful it took a long time to run okay so once this finishes we're just going to do a few checks with kubectl if you're familiar with kubernetes then you'll probably recognize the commands it's all very very basic stuff okay now that's finished so let's just run a few commands. yes okay so that's the node it's a single node cluster i'm not expecting to be any pods in the default namespace but if you do minus a and get everything and we can see the rest of them are there and they all look to be up and running which is good so we can take this forward now we're going to deploy the operator so this is where we need the version so and the version is like a tag so i'll show you the page quickly so you scroll down on the docs where that, that's what we've done you can see that and then when you get to this bit just open that other link and you can pick the version you want so i'm going to pick same tags it's literally just 0, 010 0. and that's what i've got already here so you can pick the one you want i pick the latest might as well latest and greatest and then that's what i'm going to use for my install okay and that was it so what this is going to do is it's going to take a few minutes but it's going to set up um, some pods well just one pod actually Okay, I can see it already there. So that's it there. That's the the AWX operator deployment. So the with AW with operators, they basically give you everything you need to do for your entire deployment, which is really handy. All the configurations there. So just create this AWX hyphen demo.yaml file and add this content. So I just do set paste because sometimes it goes funny when I try and paste in, and that fixes it. Okay, so cut it straight in from the dock. Okay, save that and then once we've got an up and running yep okay it's up and running so one of one ready now we are going to do the oh, police cars just going by <laughs> lovely right um, so now that's in there let's run that let's basically apply the file that we just created okay so that's now going to go off and create some stuff it's going to take a few minutes and I do actually fast forward this bit um, but what we're going to do is we're just going to check for the service creation and the pod creation so initially there's nothing, um, but it, it takes a few minutes. Oh, it's all right, they're not after me, it's okay. That's right, so if I just watch this command, we can see it go from zero to hopefully four. So it shouldn't take too long. Yeah, so the watch command, you probably seen it a few times yourself it just it just refreshes every two seconds and then once it's once four are ready we'll be re we can move on to the next stage okay we've got four now lovely okay so we can come out of that Right, lovely, they're up and running. Right, so now we're going to expose it. Oh, there's another one going by. Good timing. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay, so we're going to go for the AWX demo. Oh, no, it's the service. Sorry, yeah, we're going to expose. So we've exposed it. Now we're going to use the forwarder so we have to start up the minikube tunnel and this allows um, sort of communication it's like a, it's like a load balancer forwarder type stuff and we have to have this running so this is you'll have to have that running on another just log into another session run minikube tunnel and that's it that will just sit there in the background you can background it if you want to so it goes into the background probably set up a service for it if you need to as well right okay so I need to do the kubectl port forward commands and then put the right port in 
yep, 73070. Okay, now if we go to the URL and try and you know, just grab the IP address and put that in with that port. Three zero seven six zero. Okay, so it's not working now. But I think I need to go and add in the firewall port. So I'm going to give it a range of three thirty thousand to thirty two thousand seven hundred or something. Okay, so that's done. So as I hit this, it will connect. So now we're here. We're connected. So now you need to get your secret and then we can log in so it's a command I actually ran and then cut out but um, a bit further up I run and get secret command at kubectl get secrets and then the kubectl get secrets demo so you can see it there it'll be in the code so you can do the same take that write it in use the password and you are now in so you can change that password if you want to um, but yeah, you've got everything here. It works as you would expect. You can go in, have a quick look around. You know, this all works. So now you're kind of up and ready, up and running with AWX on your own server. Do with it what you will. Enjoy. I hope this is helpful to some of you. Um, you know, like I say, subscribe for more videos like this. If you want me to do a particular video, then just say in the comments, can you make a video on this? And I'll have a look and see what I can do. So yeah, I hope you have a good day. Enjoy the demo. And I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.